Hello there, it's Howard from the Plaz. I've just been going through some old family photos and stumbled across lots of pictures and short videos of some of the places we've visited here in North Wales over the years. Well, this led me to think that I should put together a series of very short videos to share with you and to let you know a little bit more about what's on offer in the area. Our number one tourist attraction here in Port Maddock is of course the Fistiniog and Welsh Highland Railways which is just 10 minutes from the house. You can actually see and hear the little steam trains crossing the cob from the Plaz. Bit of history, and interesting to note, the principal engineer, James Spooner, and his family lived here at the Plaz from 1818 to 1829, who designed the Festiniog Railway for William Maddox and managed it for over 50 years. Both Mark and I have traveled on the railway for many, many years, and I first introduced Mark to the attraction back in 2010 after booking a surprise trip for his birthday. <laughs> We've had many, many happy times traveling on the Fistiniog Railway from Port Maddock to Blyna Fistiniog at various times of the year with both my parents and Mark's. I can thoroughly recommend the observation carriage which is incredible with large windows and swivel seats so passengers can get an incredible all-round 360 degree panoramic view of the unfolding scenery. It's really, really something special. Most recently, we've traveled on New Year's Day from Ridgeview to Carnarvon, which was amazing. And Mark's mum, who's a steam train enthusiast, she had a fantastic time. <laughs> we haven't done the train directly from Port Maddox to Carnarvon or some of the other routes, but a lot of our guests have, and I thoroughly recommend that you do that. During the autumn and winter months, the railway is always busy, initially with its bygones weekend, showcasing the trains and the very best the railway has to offer. Nearing Christmas time, uh, there are shuttle trains to the Port Merion Food Festival, uh, which is normally held at the start of December. And then, of course, the Santa services and trips to the Gwyneth Artisans Fair in Minford from Port Maddock. Not to mention those New Year Day specials, which are brilliant. With so much going on all year round, it's a fantastic attraction and definitely something you should do when visiting the area. Please have a look in the comments box below where you can find more information. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching and hope you've enjoyed. Bye for now.